Matthew chapter 2, verse 2. Where is the child who has been born king of the Jews? For he observed his star at the rising, and have come to pay him homage. This is John chapter 16, verses 7 to 14. Nevertheless, I tell you the truth. It is to your advantage that I go away. For if I do not go away, the advocate will not come to you. But if I go, I will send him to you. And when he comes, he will prove to the world, he will prove the world wrong about sin and the righteousness and judgment. About sin because they do not believe in me, about righteousness because I am going to the Father and you will see me no longer. About judgment because the ruler of this world has been condemned. I still have many things to say to you, but you cannot bear them now. When the spirit of truth comes, he will guide you into all the truth. For he will not speak on his own, but speak whatever he hears. And he will declare to you the things that are to come. He will glorify me because he will take what is mine and declare it to you. The Word of God. In this fragile and uncertain world, we look for a light, a ray of hope from afar. In the midst of evil, we long for goodness. We look for the good within ourselves, but so often we are overwhelmed by our weaknesses that hope fails. Our confidence rests in the God we worship. God's gift to us is a spirit of power and love, not by relying on our own strength and ability. Are we drawn forward on the way to this perfect light, but rather by God's Holy Spirit. Pray with me. Lord God, illuminate our path by the light of Christ who moves before us and leads us. Enlighten us and dwell within us. Guide us to discover a small manger in our hearts where a great light still sleeps. Creator of light, we thank you for the gift of that unfading star, Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. May he be a beacon for our pilgrimage, heal our divisions, and draw us closer to the light that we may find our unity in him. Amen.